family love a takeaway curry, especially in front of the TV, because it just feels so indulgent. To save money, I make this prawn curry myself. It's really fresh from the tomatoes and sweet from the peas and the prawns. And with the leftover ingredients, there's so many things you can do, which is great because I hate waste. So the first thing you want to do is soak the rice because it takes 30 minutes. Turn the hob on to low, add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and then one finely sliced white onion. Give it a little stir and then leave that for 10 minutes to soften. Add in your fresh tomatoes, five cloves of garlic crushed, then a little bit of black pepper, some salt, a little bit of sugar, I'm using coconut sugar, some tomato puree. Now give that a really good stir, turn the heat down and we're going to leave that for 20 minutes to simmer. The great thing is this stage can be completed in advance, so you could do this in the morning, let it cool and then you could use it the next day or later that day. Now we're going to add the spices and to release more flavour we're going to fry them first. So a couple of tablespoons of oil into a hot pan and then add in the garam masala and the chilli powder. Just going to fry that off for about one minute. In the meantime I'm going to add in the frozen peas and the prawns to the tomato sauce, give them a good stir. After about a minute, add the spices in, another stir, and then just simmer for five more minutes. Now to make the coconut rice. Drain the rice in a sieve, and then, using the cold tap, run cold water through the rice to really give it a good wash and remove as much starch as possible. Add the soaked rice into the pan, making a note of the volume. Add double the volume of cold water. Then you want a teaspoon of salt and 40 grams of creamed coconut that's been roughly chopped. Give it a stir and then bring that to the boil. Once it comes to the boil, turn the heat all the way down, add the lid and cook for 10 minutes just to simmer. After 10 minutes, you take the lid off, turn off the heat and leave it there for five minutes and all of the rest of the water will then absorb into the rice. So there we have it, our Friday night bake away prawn curry with coconut rice. There's loads here, more than enough to feed four people. It's really economical as well. And if you just add a little bit of fresh coriander on top, that's ready to be served. And if you do have any coriander left over, it's really delicious if you chop it up and then stir it through freshly chopped tomatoes, red peppers, maybe a bit of chili, and then serve it for all the family in front of a film with some nachos maybe.